In my last video, I called this a neutral. I had a handful of people show up in the comments saying that's not a neutral, that's a grounded conductor. Let me show you why if you use the NEC as your reference for your dictionary and definition of terms, I consider that a neutral. So the crazy part is it is a grounded conductor, but it's also the neutral. It is both, in my opinion. It meets the definition of both. So I would be open to clarifying the definitions to separate them. I'm going to show you the definition as I read them. And you can tell me if I'm reading them wrong. I'm open to being wrong on this because I'm just reading definitions. And, you know, I'm not an English major. Maybe I'm bad at words. So let's look in the code. 2023 NEC definitions. Neutral conductor. The conductor connected to the neutral point of a system that is intended to carry current under normal conditions. Okay. Then what is the, So it says connected to the neutral point. What is the neutral point? The midpoint of a single phase system. Grounded conductor, a system or circuit conductor that is intentionally grounded. There you go. Okay, let's follow the path of that conductor. I've drawn it in blue because I can't draw in white on a whiteboard. Here's the receptacle. This is your panel. This is your meter and first point of disconnect. This is the transformer on top of your telephone pole. This is the path the white wire takes. It goes from the receptacle back to the panel. At the panel, it connects to here. Then it goes up to your first point of disconnect, which could be the panel, but normally nowadays isn't. So here, at this panel, at this meter, it is connected to ground rods, so it is grounded. And then it goes up through the rise of the service, across the triplex drop, to the midpoint of the transformer. And at the midpoint of the transformer, it is grounded again. So this wire is both the connection back to the midpoint and the grounded conductor. Now why does it say intended to carry current under normal conditions because we have a second conductor that connects to the midpoint. Let me show you. So now, one wire comes from the transformer down the riser, and here, if this is the first point of disconnect, it doesn't necessarily happen, have to happen here, but just for ease of learning, here is where we split and our grounds and neutrals become separate. And then this green wire, or bare wire, goes to the bonded to the can of the panel, and then off to the third prong. So both of these wires are both grounded and connected to the midpoint. The neutral is the one that we intentionally put current on, which is this. That is the key of why this is called, why I think this fits the definition of a neutral and a grounded conductor. It is both grounded, connected to the midpoint, and designed to, intended to carry current under normal conditions. All right, thank you very much. The commenter seems to think the essence of what makes it a neutral is the act of it carrying the imbalance. Not the ability to, of it to carry the imbalance, but the act of it. So when you have one hot and one other wire, because there's no second hot and there'll be no imbalance to carry, they think it's no longer a neutral. It, it loses its definition. It's still the conductor, gra the intentionally grounded conductor connected to the midpoint of the transformer. The definitions in the NEC do not require a second hot, which doesn't make any sense that this wire has its same connection back to the transformer. We have one hot, this has the same connection as we just said. Adding a second hot does not change what this is. It doesn't add anything. It just gives these two huts a different way to interact. This is always the same conductor, whether there's one hut there or two huts there. Do we want to add a second definition for the intentionally grounded conductor connected to the midpoint of a single phase transformer when there's only one hut and have a new definition for that? I guess in Canada they call that an identified conductor. Whatever, we can, but I don't see what value that adds because um, it's the same conductor regardless of how many hots are interacting around it. So, but I get the logic that neutral, you can't have neutral unless you have two things for it to be the middle of, but it is still a neutral by the definition. So hopefully that makes sense. See if anybody watches it this late, if anybody has a good other response that negates something I said or teaches me go to a different de definition or something in the uglies or some weird thing that I'd never heard of why I'm wrong. I'm open to it because I've only have these definitions and it seems pretty pretty clear to me. But thank you very much.